She always wanted her own place. Now she can afford it. I feel very comfortable. I didn't have to spend any money on it. I feel great. Wang pays less than $100 a month in subsidized rent. She gives credit to disgraced Communist Party leader Bo Xilai. No matter how controversial Bo Xilai became with party leadership, it doesn't matter to us common people in Songqing. He cared for us is the only way I can put it, like a father caring for his children. They subsidize housing throughout China, but Bo did it on a breathtaking scale, impressing migrant entrepreneurs like hairdresser Li Guoqing. With lower commercial rents, Li hired staff and turned a profit. I think, to be honest, Bo Xilai really helped with the improvement of our living standards. Chongqing is a great city to live in. Bo Xilai's personal charm and populist touch won him many followers here in Chongqing and many friends abroad. But as his power grew, so did he attract powerful enemies. Chief among them, the ruling Communist Party. They've banished Bo, banned any support for him in public, and muzzled positive press. But loyalty runs deep in Chongqing, it seems. You can see all of the construction. He built all of these skyscrapers and projects, this man says, his friend agreeing. We think his policies were good. Harassed by police, but this woman still wants to have a say. I hope that his trial will be carried out based on facts, she says and his contributions taken into account. It's not fair to only focus on his mistakes. Many ordinary Chinese in Chongqing seem skeptical. They brush off Bo Xilai's alleged crimes. Nobody is perfect. When people began to compliment his accomplishments, there will always be those who get jealous. Many here, like Wang Qin, blame Bo's downfall on politics, part of the hidden world of party power. Far removed, from what really matters in their lives. Now, internet advertising has become a big business and it's also raising concern about your privacy. Tom Foreman explains why you might want to think carefully about what you search for online. Worth more than the company that produced the Star Wars films, more than McDonald's makes in a year, even more than Ferrari. That is how valuable internet advertising has become, raking in well over $30 billion annually, spurring a gold rush among companies for information about you. Just in the last couple of years, you've seen a real explosion in the sophistication of, of tracking and targeting technologies. Jason Brookman is with the Center for Democracy and Technology. So let's talk about how this works. Imagine there's a couple out there that finds out that they are expecting a baby and they go online immediately to look up the word pregnancy. What happens? Right, so right away they've shared with Google that they're interested in pregnancy. And so they can add that to the profile about me. They sort of a lot of ads. And then I start clicking on links. And with every click, powerful marketing companies drop electronic cookies onto our couple's track to record their browsing history, what they looked at, and for how long, and how much they spend. Some may even link to the couple's real-world shopping habits, noting that they purchased a home pregnancy test. And suddenly, in their emails, on their smartphones, in social media sites, comes an avalanche of ads for baby bottles, strollers, car seats, cribs, and much more. And all of this could happen before this couple even tells their family that they're pregnant. Yeah, there are hundreds of companies in the online advertising game, and they, they can drop a cookie and say, this person's interested in pregnancy. And if you search something more delicate, like sexually transmitted disease, infidelity, or escorts, those too would be tracked. And all of this is drawing the attention of the Federal Trade Commission. Consumers may be very concerned if their children's information is tracked in this way. Uh, and there are also questions about whether this information is who's, who it's given to. Is it, can your employer get it? Can your insurer get it and learn about, you know, all your habits? Still, so far, the government is relying on the Internet ad industry to control itself, even as it grows steadily better at tracking your every move, purchase, and click. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington. Mm, well, um, time now to take a quick look at the weather report, courtesy of the Central Forecast Office. We'll be right back. The 
source assures us of a continuous flow, and from there, everything follows. And for those of us who know what the River Gambia stands for, understanding its sustainability in all aspects of life is easily confirmed. The River Gambia provides nutritious delicacies as food, while it provides its wildlife a balanced ecosystem. This river, as a sanctuary, is committed to its inhabitants' needs without season. And as you travel along, all these values are replicated in one company, Elton. Just like the River Gambia leads in its commitment to values that matter most, Elton, championing the vision for a new generation. Hello viewers and welcome to Weather Forecast. The weather today has been mostly cloudy with rainfall over some parts of the country and the figures recorded are as follows. Janjambura recorded 75.3, Sapo recorded 16.6, Banjul recorded 14.4, Pasi recorded 6.7, Mindum recorded 3.0, Fatoto recorded 2.4, Jinoy recorded 1.8 and finally Janjambura or Kerawan rather recorded 0.7 millimeters of rain. The satellite picture we have today indicates convective clouds over the eastern part of the continent as well as over southern Mali. These clouds will eventually give rain and thunderstorm over affected areas. For tonight, it will be cloudy and humid with rain and thunderstorm across the country. Whilst for tomorrow, it will be variably cloudy with rain and thunderstorm over the entire country. The wind flow will be southwesterly across the country and the speed will be between 10 to 25 kilometers per hour. Minimum temperatures will be 21 degrees Celsius over Greater Banjul area as the rest of the country will record 24 degrees Celsius. Maximum temperatures will be 29 degrees over Greater Banjul area, 30 degrees over West Coast region and the rest of the country will record 31 degrees Celsius. Moving on to the sea, we are expecting low tides of 0.1 meter at 4.08 in the morning and 0.1 meter at 4.41 in the evening. High tides of 2.0 meters at 10.42 in the morning and 1.8 meters at 11.06 in the evening. Wave heights will be between 0 to 1 meter, slight northeasterly swells. The sun will rise at 6.50 in the morning and will set at 19.26 in the evening. That's all we have for you. Thank you for joining us and we'll have a pleasant moment. Good job there. And uh, before we go, reminder of our headlines. Cape Verde's president has dispatched an emissary to Banjul to deliver a special message to Professor Jame and explore possible areas of cooperation between Praia and Banjul. Health and Social Welfare Minister Omar C has formally opened the newly constructed sanatorium road funded by Trust Bank to the tune of $2.7 million. Syrian government forces have reportedly killed 1,300 people People, including children in an alleged chemical weapons attack on the outskirts of Damascus. And Communist Party officials are gearing up for the trial of disgraced former Communist Party member Bozilai on a range of charges. That brings us to the end of the news. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good night, and in, in case it rains, enjoy the rain. Hi there, I am Fatu Jassi and you're watching Sports Night coming to you from GRTS. It's your midweek sports show that looks at some of the key happenings in Gambian sports. Coming in tonight's edition, the second national youth and sports summer camp wraps up in Basse and Sports Tonight.